imagine any of us got much sleep, so I'll spare the small talk. This is the situation. We managed to take the airfield, but we haven't pushed the Japanese off the island yet. Still delaying our repair crews with artillery from the west, and they hit us hard last night, as you can tell. Headquarters is calling that artillery position Pistol Peak. We can't use this airfield with Artie firing at us all day and all night. I want that damn Pistol Peak taken out. Raider Patrol say there's a Scott and some Coast Watchers in the area have been on the island since the start of the war. Keep an eye out for them, they could be of some help. Brooks and Thomason are your squad. We'll take care of them, Corporal. We'll shut down that artillery no matter what it takes. Lucky chat we ran into you, Marine. I'm Martin Clements, and this is Salas and Keep. We've just come across a squad of your mates, and they're in a very tight spot. Follow me. In here. Follow me. Take a look. Take your squad down the path to the left and set up overlooking the plantation house. Silas, keep an eye on flank them to the right. Hold your fire until we're in position. Never mind about that now. We were sent out this morning to destroy Pistol Pete and were ambushed en route. I still need to get to that gun. 
and I need your help to get there. Silencing that artillery is more important than you know. We spotted a convoy of Japanese transport ships racing for the coast this morning. Now, if you lads can't get the airfield up and running soon, well, we may not be able to hold the island. Incoming! <laughs> we lost Brooks! Keep your head down and get moving! safe and the caves are just up the hill. Lieutenant Colonel McKelvey sent these to help you clear the caves. Let's go. The Japs have their gun entrenched in the cave system winding through the ridge line. There's a fissure in the rock leading into the caves that may be unguarded. Follow me. The moment of truth. We'll meet you across the bridge to the north. Good luck.
Guard the door while I get this one ring. Move on, then. Here he is, sir. This kid's got potential. Really hate to lose him, but I think he's exactly what you're looking for. Seven months after joining the war, America's need for intelligence gathering and distribution was growing critical. Traditionally, these tasks had belonged to the Department of State. President Roosevelt sought advice from a trusted friend, William J. Donovan, a Medal of Honor recipient and veteran of the Great War. Donovan proposed a new autonomous and covert organization to carry out intelligence missions behind enemy lines. The Office of Strategic Services was created in June 1942 under Donovan's control. This elite force would swiftly become a critical weapon against the Axis. With units sent to every front, agents of the OSS were instrumental in many Allied victories. Hi, Joe. You're probably wondering about the stationery. Even though I did swell on the assembly line, the foreman offered me a job as secretary to the accounts office. It's more money, so I can't complain. But you should see your little sister's spot weld steel plate. I have to tell you a funny story. Last night we went to the Grand Theater to see a movie. Wish you'd been with us. Before the feature, there was a newsreel showing some Marines on Guadalcanal. Suddenly, Dad jumps from his seat and yells, That's my son! That's Joe! He ran back to the projection booth and made them show it again. It was quick, but one of those boys sure looked like Joe Griffin. I even saved you a souvenir. Well, coffee break is over, but I'll send a longer letter soon. Oh, we got your postcard. Even though it took weeks to cross the Pacific, it really brightened the day. Love, Mary. <laughs> <laughs>